Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk about all major movie and television news. It's Chris, and today we're going to be covering a recent merchandise leak for The Batman that gives us an extremely close look at Matt Reeves' Batmobile. So make sure not to go anywhere, but before we dive into the video guys, we're excited to announce our PlayStation 5 giveaway. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel and comment down below your favorite TV character or movie character of all time. We will be picking a random video and a random comment in that video and that lucky subscriber will win a PS5. So good luck in the giveaway. So this merchandise that was leaked for the Batman was actually for merchandise at the upcoming and currently happening CCXP event. We get two really good looks at the Batmobile from the front, which we haven't really seen at this angle before. We've seen directly from behind, from the back kind of towards the side, and these pictures reflect a really decent image of what the Batmobile could look like. But now that we have these linked images from merchandising, we get a very good look at the very front, straight on, and it looks extremely clean. It's a very good looking Batmobile. Now we already knew this from what we saw, but having that head on sight of it, you can definitely see how it was a really nice fancy car that Bruce Wayne turned into the Batmobile. Because remember guys, this is his first second year of being Batman. He hasn't gone full out as far as all of his gear and he's still figuring out who he is as Batman and what kind of items he's going to need to successfully protect Gotham. So he has this very, very expensive car that he's gone and modified and turned into a more expensive car that we now know as the Batmobile. The real question comes to whether or not you can accept Matt Reeves' vision for Batman and the direction they're heading in with Robert Pattinson. He signed on for multiple movies and this is expected to be a trilogy, one of very high value for Batman fans and the trailer that we got during DC Fandom has proven nothing but that. But it is an interesting take on Batman as it is an earlier Batman, he isn't well defined and suited as Batman like Christian Bale's who already had everything figured out as far as Batman to his little tank and motorcycle connected in it and his little back cave that was underground in the warehouse unit, all of that really cool stuff. Robert Pattinson's Batman and Matt Reeves' Batman isn't gonna have just yet. He's figuring it out, he's a young Batman, and this Batmobile shows and reflects that as well, as he has this modded car that he's gonna be driving around in his modded uniform that isn't a direct Batman outfit just yet, and it's going to be a lot of fun watching this vigilante go through and figuring out how he is going to be Batman, how he's going to be this Gotham's Batman. Batman is an extremely unique character in the sense that he has been done and done over multiple separate times, but every trilogy or new movie that comes out with a new Batman only deepens the rich and very diverse fan base that Batman already has. He is a very unique superhero in the fact that he's out doing the best he can with the materials he has. No radioactive spiders or vats of toxic sludge that turned him into something he's not. Just a very, very hard spirit and a lot of desire to do what he thinks is good. Now what he thinks is good is often questionable and sometimes borderline inappropriate for crime fighting. However, Batman never leaves us disappointed and this new look at this newest Batmobile for this newest Batman is a reflection of that. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. I know we had some really clear shots of the Batmobile from behind earlier on that came from Matt Reeves directly, but this is a very clean look at the Batmobile from the front. Let me know what you guys think about it, what your expectations are for this Batman trilogy in the comments down below. and. While you're down there, be sure to enter our giveaway for a PlayStation 5. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed and comment your favorite TV character or movie character of all time. So we'll be picking a random winner from a random video, and we wish you good luck in the giveaway. As always, thank you to everybody who watched the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, be sure to join us tomorrow for our next daily update of all things major movie and television news.